lost your wallet again? Look, my ADD is getting worse every day. It's not like I asked to reset and start over every couple of weeks. It just seems to happen with more frequency now that I don't care about blacking out on alcohol. So you really don't believe you have an addictive personality? Well, yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. I think I'm addicted to sex as well. No big deal. I think Elizabeth Taylor is a sex addict. Sweet goddess, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. March 24th, 2009. In a series of events that I wish hadn't happened. Hello? Is this, is this Jack? Hello? Well, when I read about the dog the other day and those pretty flowers in the garden, I had to hang up the chatter. But the other night I had a dream. I was sleeping next to an enormous tree filled with Boston cream. Yeah, like the donut. And in this tree, I would normally write songs about people living in Antarctica and having sex in lover suits while nursing Inuit children. I don't know, but this all made sense to me, especially since I'd started performing under the guise of Juanita from Antarctica. But lately, Jack wasn't answering any of my postcards. I'd already sent three in a row with no response. My impression grew every time I opened the mailbox. I was longing for a ghost. Last, the last night I told him I couldn't see him anymore, or at the very least that we should be on some permanent platonic hiatus. Nobody would be having sex. Nobody. I proposed him to take me out on old school days and bring me right back home, but under no circumstances he would let me stay at his place or vice versa. My eyes were dark and sagged from no sleep and full nights crying. It had been a while since the crime. That real tear jerk of stuff where your sinus is leaking into the next day. Where your lungs hurt and your legs go wobbly and your mouth is so dry. David had witnessed that cry a lot. And now the only person I could think to console me was him. He was also, he was always so logical and calm. His Zen master in disguise. He was a superhero, and both of us together, we were like the Wonder Twins. Just enough of the emotional spectrum to cancel out any fighting or anger. I miss that. I miss it a lot. And I miss Jack. I miss David. And I miss them both. Today's breakfast, generic raisin bran, a banana, two waffles, one of a higher quality than the other, light syrup, 1% milk. I miss that already. I miss it a lot. Victor said he would fight polar bears to smell his beloved's hair. I'd like a castle in the sky as well, full of soft kittens and stuffed animals, <laughs> where Jack could trap me and I would be his for dot, 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 dot.